Welcome back, Nail Queens. Today's video is going to be about Maniology. I have tons of new things here from Maniology, so I want to thank Maniology so much for sending over all of these items for me to use and play with and create nail art with. I have a lot of new stamping polishes. This is from one of their winter collections, and oh my goodness, these colors. I just love the variety and the fact that it's not your traditional... Christmas holiday colors. So I'm really loving this set here and all the colors that came in it. So I'm going to be using these colors to create a little Frenchy kind of abstract French design. They also sent me another stamping set which is called Candyland and it's like these like almost chromey looking colors. They're so vibrant, so beautiful. I love these colors. They're stunning. I won't be using them in today's Manny, but how cute would these be for a Halloween Manny as well? I think they'd go great. So I have two French stamping plates here. This one's called Bougie French, and it's from their Halloween release or launch that was earlier this year. I love doing abstract French designs. They're so much fun. And um, this one is a very, very deep French design. So you can see the arch or the curve for the French is really, really curved. So I'm going to be making these on press-on nails simply because it's the holiday season and I want to wear tons of different holiday designs this season. I don't want to just wear one set for like two weeks. So that's why I'm going to be doing press-ons instead of working on my actual nails or having glued on press-ons. So I have the bougie French pulled out. I'm flipping it over just so that these are facing towards me. And I'm going to use the very, very deep plum color. And I'm going to use that one and the dark blue as well. And I'm just basically going to do the French designs with those two colors. I want to let y'all know that I learned a lot when I was learning how to use these two plates, this one and the other French one. It really challenged me. And I'm going to explain to you exactly why these plates challenging me. I'm not used to doing stamping French designs and French designs take up a lot of space. As you can see, there's a huge block on the stamping plate. So you have to fill in that whole void with polish. So I put in a lot of polish and I've learned that it's okay to scrape multiple times like I just did here. However, you want to scrape very lightly. I've practiced it multiple times before filming this video and I messed it up many, many times because I was scraping too hard or only scraping once. I learned that for these French ones, it is best that you put the polish down, you scrape lightly, and then you just do multiple scrapes very lightly. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, release the pressure, barely graze it. It's gonna turn out great. The less pressure you do and the more scrapes you do, the better the French will be. Just take it from me, please. Don't, don't struggle like I did. I'm gonna finish off putting these French designs on all five nails here and then I'm gonna go in and actually use a subscription stamping plate to do some snowflakes and you'll see exactly how I do that in just a minute. To clean off my stamping plates, I use a paper towel soaked in acetone, and then it does get foggy, so if you want it to get not foggy, just use some rubbing alcohol, and it basically clears it up. So I have this MXM091 stamping plate. It's one of my favorite Maniology subscription stamping plates. I love their monthly subscriptions, and when I saw this one, I had to have it. So anyways, I decided to use the snowflakes on this plate to basically go between the French design and the like little background base pink that I have on my nail here. I've seen people do stars and other things, so I figured for the holiday season, snowflakes would be very festive.
right, so I'm almost done with this. It's been turning out really, really good. I'm glad I learned all of my mistakes and I'm able to pass on what I've learned to you guys. So hopefully if you guys do French designs with stamping nail art, you won't struggle the way I did. So I'm almost done and then this is what the final look looked like. I loved doing this design once I figured out how to get the French to turn out right. So yeah, I love it. So I'm going to just insert some photos from some manis that I took while I was outside today and a little clip of a like a video being like, ooh la la. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I do have another video coming next week with some tips and tricks on how to do reverse stamping because let me tell you, you can mess that stuff up.